The problem with homelessness in Manchester is vast, man. Um, it's a city that's putting out this image that it's got a lot of wealth, which will attract homeless people from all over the country, as well as the massive numbers of people that have been finding themselves out on the street that would never ever be in that situation before we were put into this so-called austerity measures um, where everything is cut, where the services and all the provisions that a council would normally provide are wiped. When that happens, we end up with crisis. We're in a crisis. The solution is housing first. The solution is that we put people in housing and provide the support that we rebuild those support services that were needed, that were gone in order to stop the problem and to reverse it. But it needs to be different. It needs to be a, full, a final solution. It can't be this continuation of the problem. The implementation would have to come from the, from the, from the governments and from the local authorities in collaboration with all these support services that are still out there and fighting for their lives and the big businesses that have all the money and all the property. All they need to do is sit around the table and get it done. Because you have to walk past the, those people in the streets and you have to feel that when you walk past them. You have to either drop some change in that cup to ease that little bit of guilt or you need to desensitise yourself and make re excuses for why that person's there to, to, to get rid of that guilt. If that person's no longer sitting there and you're comfortable knowing he's in a bed, that makes you better, that makes everyone better. The person that was on the streets in a house, you don't feel guilty and the country saves money, what's to lose? Sign and share the petition, man. It's uh, hashtag let them stay. At the moment, we're, we're occupying the building. Uh, we're asking the co-op to let us stay until they demolish it. Let's see whether, whether we can advance some young people's lives and, and bring them out of the trap that they've been put in by the systems and by the councils.